Andre, I appreciate it. Well, walking faster just got a little easier with some new shoes. Shift Robotics claims okay. to have developed the world's fastest shoes called the Moonwalkers. You're like roller skates on those? <laughs> Kind of, I guess. The company says the shoe helps people walk up to seven miles per hour compared <laughs> to the weird. average human pace of three miles per hour. A video featuring the shoe went viral on TikTok, <laughs> garnering near 25 million views. Shift Robotics says the Moonwalkers are on sale in the U.S. for $1,400. The current size only fits men's shoes 9 to 12. So, so it's not even a shoe. It's like an attachment to your shoe. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, you know what? I will say, if you're that trying to get some, you know what it reminds me of? What? The In the airport at CVG, you know how you can go on to the little yes, walking, yes, what are those called? Walkways. Yes, Yes. That's what it reminds me of. It's like it. you're on a moving walkway. I wonder if it's hard to walk with them. Only thing with the moving walkway, yes. it's not a ride at Disneyland. Like You gotta walk. Walk. Come on, people. Yeah. Let's walk. I know. It's. Can I, I say we were guilty of that last time we got on one no, and we no, stopped? If, if, you, if you're kids. a senior citizen, I totally got it. I'm not, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. But if you saw me on there with my kids, you'd be like, walk. like come on, walk. <laughs> Get going. Keep going. Those shoes are cool, though. Because I think it's I'm... a good idea if you're like, think about it. If you're yeah. walking for a long period of time, you're trying to get somewhere quick. Seven miles per hour, I mean, that's a nice yeah, little no, job. You, know, you are right. You are right on that. Yeah. I wonder if you're, like, your dog could pull you. You can stand there and the dog pulls you. I don't, I don't know. Did it have yeah, wheels? Yeah, that's, that's the whole point. Oh, There's I didn't think it on. had wheels. Yeah, I, I didn't so. see that part of it. I was too okay, busy reading. Back and look. <laughs> anyway. Hey, the private <laughs> island that's featured in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies and the James Bond film Casino Royale is on the market. That would be, see, that's when you know you have a lot of money. Yeah, to when you own can buy an island. island. Okay, so it's called Little Pipe K, is located in the Bahamas and is now selling, forget this, $100 million. Mm. The island includes a main residence and four guest houses. They have a total of 11 bedrooms. 12 bathrooms Look currently at Look at that. I know the island is being used as a rental resort with a night stay ranging from oh I was gonna say I thought it was 75 to 95 dollars no, no, that would be thousand yeah, dollars 75 yes. to 95 thousand dollars a private gym spa they better pool. have daily housekeeping then. not this oh <laughs> we'll bring you some towels but we're not gonna clean and the some room. chocolates Okay, so they have a full staff. The new owner of the island might even get some new A-list celebrities as their neighbors. Real estate agencies say Johnny Depp and Tyler Perry own islands nearby. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Be pretty sweet. Got the insurance on that though for like hurricanes. Oh yeah, that's some things you have to think about. But you I, know what? If you have that much money to buy an island, I'm, I mean, one of the best trips gosh, we get. Our be honeymoon last year, we went to the. Uh, uh, BVI's, British Virgin Islands, mm. and just hopped around. Now, obviously, you're not getting an island. You're not, right. You don't have your own island. Yeah. But there's like yeah. little resorts and, you know, little bed and breath resorts. But, yeah. But you kind of hop around the That's different nice. islands. So, yeah, it's nice. What's that life like? It was nice. No, <laughs> it was no, it was nice. the honeymoon. It was. No, I know. And yeah. it's not like you do that every year. No, not at all. <laughs> but that would be really cool. I, I don't think I'd ever. Points. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever leave. Like, if I was on an island with the people that I love and that I cared about, but what about I wouldn't the people, go like, anywhere. Even you love your kids, and they still annoy you sometimes. Yeah, but you're on so an where island. Gonna, where are you gonna go? The other side of the island. That's true. I mean, come on. That's true. You know? What if like a shipwreck happened and you had like new visitors? Now coming? we're just going too far. You know? Yeah. Like, what was that movie Lost when the plane crashed on the island? Oh my gosh, that was the world. The show. The, the show. show. Yeah. And you remember the ending? Yes. Oh my gosh. That was, that was awful. That was. A, imagine that it was nowadays. So bad. Like, if, if it came out like on Netflix where you could watch them all. Like, yeah. Yeah. Don't even. Don't do it. No. Don't do it. No. That hey, was an awful ending. A, a dry state woman breaks a world record, crowning her the strongest woman in the world. This is great. We're gonna introduce you to her next.